Hello! As a K-pop dance YouTuber, a lot of people ask me, how do you do your makeup for your K-pop dance cover videos? And how does it last through all that blood, sweat, and tears be turned more? The secrets will be shared today. So today, I'm gonna teach you guys some tips and tricks on how to, you know, do sweat-proof makeup, making your makeup really last longer, choosing certain colors that stands out for dance cover videos, all that shenanigans, the secrets will be shared today. Step 1. You wanna wash your face, make it as clean as possible, and exfoliate if you can because the dead skin actually causes a lot of cakiness. Number 2. You need to... Moisturize your skin. I have a combination skin, so if my skin is not moisturized, it will look very dry, it will look very patchy, and it just won't be very smooth. You want a foundation that has a lot of coverage because the last thing you want is to pile on tons of makeup with very little coverage. You want to keep a very thin layer of high coverage makeup on your face because if it's too much, it's not going to trip your face. And the moment you do this, ah! It will all slide away, slip and slide. A high coverage concealer. So this is how I normally do it. Put a highlight on the nose. I put a thick layer here, a thick layer here. Place it at the blemish, so just one dot here. Tight, thin base. Look at me, now look at you. Now this is the portion of the makeup that you really want it to last the longest because brows kind of give your, your face like a framing so if that framing is gone, your whole makeup is really ruined Use a eyebrow pencil to kind of sketch out the shape Put it darker than you normally would Remember the camera is not so close up in your face You really need to let your makeup be seen from a distance You need to put some brow powder to set that in place, okay? We're gonna use a brow gel and I'm going to lock it all in! Those eyebrows, they are so on time. And now we're gonna move into the powder. I'm using a loose powder and we're gonna go ham. Yes, I don't pack it in. I tap, tap and tap, tap. Need to set with a lot of powder so that it doesn't run all over the place when I'm freaking doing my dance cover like poke myself and then stipple 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 after stippling you can just do quick strokes like this to buff it out all over your face if you would like to bake please go ahead but I cannot bake because I have dry to combination skin if I bake it will leave a lot of fine lines here and here and my face will look very dry and patchy so it really does not work for me you want to do it please go ahead you do you oh, I still have that kind of like skin like texture but this is all gonna stay in place okay it's time to spray the first spray it's time to spray once so take a setting spray and just um, uh, I can do a T shape, okay? Now, I'm going straight into contouring. I'm using this shade right here, okay? So, Carissa, are you gonna do any blusher? The answer is no. This is because my face gets very red when I'm working out or dancing. Thus, if I put blusher, I will look extra red. I only put contouring so that my features stand out more in the video. The camera is there, and you really need your features to pop. So it's okay to be a bit more heavy-handed on the contouring. Contour for the gods. I'm gonna put a lot of highlight. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Because uh, you want your this cheekbone to be seen from a mile away. Yes. I see a nose. I see a nose. So under the brow one, I also put a little bit. Ooh, highlight for the gods. I chose bright colors so that, yes, they can be seen from the camera and it's a really bold look priming your eyelid because that is very important. I'm gonna show you right here. Shirt. Sure. Sure. Use lots of glitter because glitter can be seen from miles away in the camera. So I'm just gonna put a glitter underneath my lash line right here. 
So the difference between dance cover eyeliner and normal eyeliner is that you really want it to be thick and visible. You want to draw a really big wing. So because if you draw something that is too small, it really can't be seen in the camera. You need it to be that big because you want it to be seen. I would never put mascara because it irritates my eyes and it makes me feel uncomfortable especially when I sweat. So that's why I don't put mascara. It is time for the second time off. Spray! Spray spray! So use a second round of setting spray. This will stay on for a few hours. It's gonna stain your lips. It's gonna make sure that even if this rubs away, you have this underneath as an insurance. You want to use a matte lip color because it stays in place and we're going to teach you some interesting blotting techniques. I'm going to dot it onto your lips like so. Fold it in half like this and we are going to blot our lips so that it lasts real long. So we're going to do this and we're going to do... And we're going to go in second time. A brightening color, it gives such life to your face and it's not like too red, too red that it looks like it's gonna overpower your face. So I really like it. Wow! Amazing! You just made a transfer proof lid. Now it's time for the final spray. Yeah, I know, just keep spraying. Just just keep spraying. Spray your life problems away. my usual makeup that I do for my K-pop dance videos. Usually the eyes and especially under the eye, this whole area, it manages to stay throughout the whole video. For people who want to do outdoor shoots, K-pop dance cover videos or even just want to learn some tips on how to make dance makeup kind of pop and stand out more, I hope these tips have helped you. Um, my makeup is really focused on being seen and captured in the camera and also lasting long throughout the blood, sweat and the tears. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know if you use any of these tips in your next K-pop dance cover video. I would love to see any recreations of this look. Please comment down below, Instagram, DM me or whatever, okay? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I put out lots of K-pop dance content and also makeup content like this. If you haven't already, please turn on your notifications to know when I post new videos. Otherwise, it can get very difficult to keep track of my videos, okay? If you want to follow me on social media, it's at Carissa Hu on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. Okay, hope you guys are having a great day and I love you all. Who base?